I was originally diagnosed with HIV in 1993. Then a couple months later, I was diagnosed with CKD at 23%. I basically thought I had two years to live. It was very hard for me at the beginning. And all you want to do is go to sleep. I was also having issues with my blood pressure. I actually fell once and it was really bad. And that's actually how they found the stroke that I had earlier that year. When you're on dialysis, your chances of having a heart attack or a stroke go up dramatically and in fact, most of the people who are on dialysis will die of a heart attack or a stroke. If you're lucky enough to get a transplant, that risk goes way down. Mount Sinai was a big enroller in an NIH-sponsored trial offering transplants to very carefully selected people with HIV. And it turns out, very counterintuitively, that the medicines that we use for transplant to prevent rejection work synergistically, work right alongside with the medicines that are used to treat HIV. They did well, and this opened the door. His kidney function was normal right away, and he didn't have any complications thereof. He's going to have a much better quality of life, and he's going to live longer thanks to the gift of organ transplantation. Being able to offer um, an HIV patient the organ of an HIV donor, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to help move forward the approach of the treatment of, for HIV uh, patients. I couldn't be more proud of Mount Sinai and of my team's efforts um, to offer transplant to HIV because when it comes to transplanting people with HIV, there's a lot of stigma still. And a lot of places talk yes, but very few places do yes. Finally realized that I actually can do anything. And it's not what's put on you, it's what you do with it. I think I can do anything now. I guess I could be Superman.